The Mexican border town of Tijuana has managed to quietly transform itself into a modern industrial boom town, emerging as a world-beating manufacturing hub. 600 companies from the United States and overseas have set up shop there, with Made in Mexico now a growing trend. Mike Kirsch has our story. In the eyes of many world travelers, Tijuana, Mexico has long been seen as little more than a tourist trap across the U.S. border for cheap souvenirs and tequila. Its negative image cemented further by memories of violent battles in the streets between drug gangs and police in the not-so-distant past. One shop owner, hoping tourists might focus on more positive attributes like Tijuana's favorite son, legendary rock musician Carlos Santana. Santana music is from Tijuana. Nice. Santana aside, what has gone virtually unnoticed here, beyond the tourist district, is Tijuana's extraordinary transformation in the last decade as a world-class manufacturing center. Thanks to its ability to lure top American companies here from just across the U.S. border with its armies of highly skilled Mexican workers, 165,000 of them now employed by an estimated 600 foreign national companies here that are producing billions of dollars in exports each year. A business boom said to be directly responsible for turning this once impoverished town of three million citizens into a modern middle class metropolis. A point man for Tijuana's rise as a global manufacturing giant is Tijuana native Flavio Olivieri, CEO of the Tijuana Economic Development Corporation. In the electronics sector, we have um, Samsung uh, from Korea. Uh, they manufacture here their large format uh, TV sets. And not just a handful of them, but 17 million Samsung flat screen TVs with their Made in Mexico stamp are exported each year from Tijuana to retailers across the border in San Diego and across the United States. As well, Japanese electronics giant Sony has made Tijuana a major manufacturing base for its flat screen TVs. Toyota has a huge plant on the outskirts of Tijuana, producing the popular Tacoma pickup truck for export in the United States. U.S. aerospace giant Honeywell employs nearly 15,000 local workers manufacturing aerial defense systems for the U.S. military. Though being able to compete, say human rights groups, should not come at the expense of the Mexicans doing the work here, who they claim have historically been among the most exploited in the world. While industrial parks like these across Tijuana have created thousands of jobs, there remains a contentious issue with many workers. Low wages. The minimum wage in Mexico, for example, is almost five times lower than the $7.25 an hour workers earn in the United States, admittedly a controversial issue. Olivieri says an example of how working conditions and benefits have improved here in recent years is the U.S. company DJO Global and its manufacturing plant in Tijuana, voted one of the top three best places to work in Mexico for two years running. The workforce here in Tijuana is unique because it was exposed to different companies. If I hire someone right now, most likely that worker already worked for a Japanese, French, American or Mexican factory and has the ability to improve our system. You can't find that type of worker in the rest of the country. It's 2,000 employees assembling orthopedic products here are offered everything from free college education, providing they stay with and move up in the company, to home loans, to free health care, to a weekly discount farmer's market set up out front of the plant to save employees the time and expense of food shopping elsewhere each week. Mildred Herrera Martinez claims the company changed her life for the better 13 years ago when she started work here on the production line. I have my house and a car, loans for those, I'm able to afford the daily expenses on the salary they pay me, and I'm inspired to earn more as I raise my child. Tijuana's business leaders say the city's manufacturing boom is slowly sending a message to its American neighbors to the north that Mexicans, when given the opportunity, are capable of and happy to find jobs in their own country, rather than crossing the border illegally for employment in the United States. You know, the perception of Mexico has been uh, very negative and uh, it's been played b very strongly by the media in downplaying the capabilities and the opportunity with Mexico. 
Tijuana's future, he says, is brighter than it's ever been, thanks to a more highly trained workforce capable of higher standard production methods that are meeting the demands of more and more U.S. companies opening manufacturing plants here. That has Mexicans these days feeling quite proud.